So hey everyone and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the amino diffusion effect in Premiere Pro and believe it or not we are going to be using the official plugin which actually does work for Premiere Pro. So to get started you want to head over to the amino website and you want to click this big download button right here. Once you have done that you want to head over to your downloads folder, extract the zipped file and then open up the folder. Now I'm so sorry but I have no idea how to install plugins for Mac manually so if you are a Mac user I'm going to leave a tutorial in the description below on how to install all plugins manually but if you're on windows then let's continue you want to open this folder which says win at the end and all of these different effects are going to come up now if you want to you can highlight all of these and copy them but for the sake of this video i'm only going to copy amino diffusion but then again i do recommend that you copy all of these other effects because they are really good anyways yeah just copy so right click and then click on copy now you want to head over to this pc and then open up whichever hard drive you use or at least have premiere pro installed in so for me it's in c drive open it up and then head over to program files adobe common and then plugins now depending on your version it will look a bit different here you might have all of these folders except for like let's say 7.0 it depends on which premiere pro version you're using so i use the 2018 cc version and so i'm going to open up the 7.0 file because the rest are older so yeah open up the file then open up media core and then what you want to do is create a folder here and just call it amino if you don't know how to make a new folder you can just click up here where it says new folder this message might come up you just want to press continue name your folder as amino open up the folder and then what you want to do is just just paste in the effect. Next up what you want to do is restart Premiere Pro if it's already open. In the effects box what you want to do is type in Amino and then there you go as you can see we have the effect so what you can do is drag it onto your clip but if you don't want to do that you can drag it onto an adjustment layer. Now before we do go any further please keep in mind that this is not going to completely work with Premiere Pro. It's not designed for Premiere Pro so it's not going to completely work with it. There are going to be a lot of glitches and sometimes it might not even work. As you can see I have this one clip from Berserk and I've put some adjustment layers on top with different settings for for amino diffusion but when i exported it only the first frame had the effect so for some reason the other two didn't i have no idea how to fix this i really don't know i guess you could screen record your uh video or whatever you're making i'm guessing most of you are making edits like me so but anyways since amino diffusion is really like strange to work with i'm going to give you some settings so the first one you're going to leave the error across to one and then the error aside to 0.005 it has to be exactly like that and it's going to end up looking like this but it does depend on your sequence so if you do have a 16 by 9 sequence then it's going to look a little bit different anyways for the second one as you can see it looks really like distorted and i really like this one so for this one for the error across you have to put 1.010 and then for the error aside you want to put 0.005 and then finally for the last one now this one isn't really a glitchy effect it's hard to tell especially if you're watching on a youtube video because youtube is going to destroy the quality but it kind of gives this monochrome ctr look for this you want to put 0 0.8 for the error across and then for the error aside you want to put 0.005 anyways that is pretty much it for this video i'm so sorry that this does not really work well but this was the only method i had found there is no other way to get amino diffusion without getting the actual official plugging but anyways that is it for this video hope you did find it helpful and if you did then want to drop a like and also subscribe if you're new have a great day and i will see you in the next video so yeah peace